Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new, I'm Stacy, and we're gonna do this color cube card today. This is our colors, all the different ones on the back that you can choose from. You can freeze frame if you want to, and we're using the velour paper again. I'm trying to give you a little close up here. Uh, see if you can see that texture, kinda not. Moving right along. <laughs> Um, going ahead and choosing colors first, seeing what matches best with the card and with the chalks. It's, it's not, um, too challenging. I have out my Mungio handmade pastel set, my Prismacolor new pastels, and my Soho, I think I got the set of 60, the Urban set of 60. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Had it for a while. Um generally have out my Prismacolors and my Mungio Handmaids all the time and my Soho's are in a drawer so I forget about them. I very much out of sight out of mind if my drawers are not labeled and uh, things are not in my face I tend to forget that I have them. <laughs> I'm digging around I'm like oh yeah I forgot I had this huh let's give it a whirl. Um yeah, so broke out the Soho's this time so that I'd have a better color selection. Now, there's a little bit of super dark on the side there. So I picked out the black thinking my blues wouldn't be dark enough. And on this one, I decided to block in the white cloud first. I'm not sure if that's going to be the most effective route to go, but here we are. This piece of paper is kind of a pale gray color. I thought it would be a nice base to start with. And honestly, just getting to know these papers and what I can and can't do against certain colors. And this is a great way to work that all out and um, get in some really good practice. I'm just going through and blocking in the white layer of the poofy, 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 white cloud. I hope that you guys enjoy these little 20-ish minute exercises. If you would rather I did a longer exercise, let me know. Um, yeah, and that will be put on the agenda. I have uh, fallen in love with this paper. It is an absolute wonder to work on. I like it so much. Um, Going in with my mid-tone blue, just to get that light side of the sky blocked in. Pretty sure I put this all over the page. Basically putting in your local color, right? Your base color that you see to start with, to build upon with your other colors is my thought pattern here. Throwing on my, my pale blue, it's not bad already. It already looks like a cloudy sky. Super excited. I love this color so much. It's that amazing deep Prussian blue. Uh, the only reason I remember the, the color, the name of this one is because I like it so much. Prussian blue, you guys. Mm. In the Mungio Handmade Pastels. Now the Mungio Handmade Pastels are very soft. Um, they are... They, they kind of crumble a little bit if you're too rough with them. So you really want to be pretty gentle with them. Get in that streak, that sun streak, trying to pay attention to that, not forget about it. But yeah, I love this blue so much. Look how beautiful that is already. That contrast is just amazing. If I do say so myself, I'm going to toot my own horn here, you guys. Toot toot! <laughs> Go ahead and pop in some more of that blue just here and there. Try and get those edges knocked in. I usually would tape off the corners. Now, on the first several practices that you guys see over the next couple of weeks, I, I'm not taping down these little papers. I should have because I don't really have anywhere to hold on to the paper while I'm working. Um, 
And that's a little bit problematic. The back of the paper is slick. It's very smooth and slick. It's like it's got a coat of plastic on the back. Um, so it doesn't really stick to the table at all. And decided against the black. I put in that little scribble and really was not digging how deep dark it was. It was just a, a bit too much. Um, so I go in with the Prussian over the top and it's kind of loose on the surface of the paper. I'm trying to, sorry about the road noise. I'm trying to push it in um, and get a little, a little bit of a softer feel to how this looks. You can blend a little bit, but not much, not very much at all. It doesn't really move. It more just settles into the the fibers of the of the paper, the little hairy fibers, or velvety fibers, if you prefer to think of it as velvet instead of hair. <laughs> ah, perspective. Went a little crazy with the light light blue over here, but that black was really throwing me off. So I decided to skim over with the light again. And um, oops, the paper folded a little bit there. Give it a little tappy tap tap, a little a little push into the page. And that did blend a bit there. I do love how this looks. It's very, at this moment, feels very magical. I dig it. And if you don't like blending with your fingers, there are many different tools out there that you can use. And they now even have tools that hold your pastels, which I didn't know about. Um, recent discovery, you guys. You know, you can get pencil extenders. You can get things to hold your pastels as well so you don't have to touch them with your hands. I thought that was super fun. I think I learned that from Lindsay recently. If you don't know who Lindsay is, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter is her channel. Um... She she's pretty amazing. I follow her on the YouTubes. She's great. She's one of my buds. You know, you know how you make buds on the YouTube. Yeah, I'm trying to crisp up the edges where the blue overlapped the white a little bit too much and made it a little bit too soft. I'm trying to make sure I get in those super bright whites. And it's just the smallest, smallest, smallest chunk of white that I was using as well. Oh, I'm wrong. That wasn't my white. That was the pale, pale blue. This is the, the firmer, um, this is, no, this is the Mungio. I keep forgetting what I'm using white in the the soft soft pastel trying to get those little wispies give my clouds a little bit of character a little feel went to um, dick's sporting goods store this weekend and got myself some i don't run but i got myself some running cross tracky kind of sneakers um, for my walking that i do every day now and um the clouds on the way home over the lake were just gorgeous. Wish we weren't going so fast. I would have taken some pictures. <laughs> but the how they just how they looked out in the distance and then as they got closer, it was just it's really beautiful. And I've been observing clouds a lot more lately. Just, I caught myself yesterday just sitting on the patio um, watching the clouds move around. Just sitting still, not listening to music or, you know, and I didn't have anything on. I was just watching clouds. I, I sat there for a good 10 minutes just watching the clouds move around. <laughs> Something you do when you're a kid that you don't do so much when you become an adult. And I'm contemplating here. What should I do next? Should I should I get in with shadows? Should I continue with the white? Continue on with the white a little bit. I'm really liking the pops of bright, bright white. 
feel like they're very effective. I'm just splashing them around at this point. Clouds can splash, right? Essentially made of water. <laughs> trying to get those bright spots in that big cloud and uh, when we go in with the shadows hoping it will um, remind me to leave them alone and then give it some more dimension as we get in the darker shadows on those in that lower section and each little bit takes some time I didn't um, know if I was going to put these up as videos or not so I was listening to um rundown <laughs> um I forgot the the guy's name that's in it with uh Dwayne Johnson the rock man that movie's funny silly fools I watched that and I watched um it's not sweet home Alabama but she's in it her and oh, that really pretty Mexican woman. I forgot her name, too. I'm really terrible with names, you guys. Terrible. Um, or is she Cuban? I think she might be Cuban. At any rate, I watched a comedy <laughs> last night as well while doing these um, exercises. I honestly was not thinking that they would turn out as well as they did. Uh, I had had a lot of trouble um, with watercolor clouds. My watercolor clouds, not so great, in my opinion. I was not satisfied. I still put the video up. It um, was this past Wednesday's watercolor video, Watercolor Wednesday. Um, I'm looking up that movie because it's going to bug me. It's gonna bug me. I have the power flashed a few minutes ago, so everything turned off, and I was in the middle of doing stuff. Silly, silly things. Does this do a like history of what you've watched in Prime? I honestly don't remember. Da 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 da. Yeah. Ooh, I watched all. Of, I'm all caught up on Nancy Drew too. That's on the CW and on HBO Max, I'm pretty sure. Um, very good show. Digging it. Digging it, digging it. What's the name of that dang movie? It's going to bug me, you guys. Oh, I, this is a make, makeup brush from the dollar store. My hands were super dirty. So all that shadow is a lot of that was my fingers and then that little tiny bit of prussian that broke off um i really like how this one turned out i'm very happy with it Ooh, that thunder is a rolling out there Ooh -hoo -hoo. super excited i love a good thunderstorm anybody else anybody else love a good thunderstorm they're so great it says continue watching. Does it only do that for shows? I think so. Live TV with ads, my stuff. All? Maybe all? Oh, they're coming out with a new season of um, Gods and Omens, too. I'm super excited. The first season was great. It was really, really good. Oh, I guess this doesn't have a watched already. On I'm on my laptop, not on the computer. Or the TV, rather. I don't want to add a profile. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I was just scrolling through all the different movies that are recently added and old free, you know, fun movies to watch. And um, it came up with 
the uh, rundown movie. Oh, there it is. Hot Pursuit. That's the name of it. Knew I wasn't going to remember that. Sophia. Oh, I'm never going to be able to say it. Reese Witherspoon and Sophia Ver. Ver. Gara? I think that's how you say it. I know I should be better at that, but I'm not. Um, it was cute. Funny movie. Something fun and light to listen to whilst doing art things. Um, sorry, I got quiet. I was listening to the thunder. I really like thunderstorms. <laughs> it's a whole situation. Um... Let's see how far are we on this. Getting there. Getting there. Doing a little bit of um, layering and layering and relayering and layering again and picking out. Trying to give my cloud sort of the same shape as the cloud in the reference photo. And then trying to get the, that um, glow, that streak of sunshine happening. was feeling like the um the little wispies kind of disappeared on me on that side there. I'm gonna pop some of those back in and this is where my, my chalk crumbles. See that? The I got way too rough with that Mungio soft pest soft chalk pastel. See and I'm just going to pick up this little chunk and try to use it like a crazy person. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Um, I've had these pastels for about two years. They are pretty slow wearing. I, I don't do pastel paintings like monthly or anything like that. Usually. Uh, well, maybe this year I have. I've done quite a few pastel pieces this year. Just in, I made a promise to myself that I was going to try to use all of my art supplies this year and really figure out which ones I love and which ones I don't so that I can move forward in a um, more positive way in my art journey. You know how you collect, you collect the things just to try them. I, I want to just try everything. The only thing I've discovered that I really, really don't like is acrylic painting. Um, but I feel like gouache um, could become a favorite. So next month's journey is um, to practice gouache paintings. So you're going to see a lot of gouache stuff next month. I hope that I hope no one minds. <laughs> uh I'm still going to sprinkle in like other things like watercolor Wednesday is always going to be watercolor Wednesday. And then Friday, I usually leave, leave it pretty open to be whatever I need it to be. And then usually Monday is a mixed media piece. Generally, if I do a mixed media piece that I want to share, I put it on Mondays. Um, that's my, my personal in my head, um, schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. I have mixed media Monday, Watercolor Wednesday and Fun Friday is usually just anything I feel like doing. So this next couple weeks is going to be um, Monday and Friday. You're going to get these cloud studies because I did quite a few of them and they're all very different. Um, using the color cube cards, which are amazing to um, exercise your skills with, no matter what medium you're using. It's a great starting point, a great jumping off point. I've found these cards to be a fabulous tool um, in my learning. So uh, Sarah Renee Clark, I linked it. I think I think I linked it in the last video. So I'll make sure to try and link it in every one of these um, videos that I'm doing where I'm actually using the cards so that you, if you want, you can at least go look at them and see if it's something you want to put on your Christmas list maybe. Maybe, maybe. And the boxes look amazing sitting on your shelf, just so you know. 
in my opinion. They're very pretty. She did a great job putting these together. Just a phenomenal job. Someone, I thought someone asked if she was putting out an additional box or more. And I do not know. And there, if you don't want the box, like the physical boxes, she also has uh, these digital. So if you would prefer to use them like on a handheld digital device, you don't have to get the physical product. You can get the these all digital as well. So, yeah, here we go. All done. I really like how this one turned out so much. So, so much. I'll do a little close up of this one, tap off some of those excesses, and, and I end up blowing off those little speckles of white light on the side there. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below about these little studies. Did you paint along? Did you, did you, did you do it? I'd love to know. And uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.